Okay guys, so today I want to show you something pretty cool which has just come out yesterday. Um, I'm just going to get this circle down in here. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, schema has added hand weapons to the game for, for use by players. So this is a cool direction and I'm just going to come down here and I've made a little target range where we can test it out. Rotate again, so we're going to first person mode. Right now, the way that you get this weapon is you type enter and then slash, and you type give underscore laser underscore weapon space your name. Okay, that's all slash give underscore laser underscore weapon space your name. I just put it in caps. There's no need to put it in caps. It probably only works in lower case, to be fair. Okay. That will give you a weapon which you can... Here it is. Damage 5, speed 0.5, reload 150 milliseconds. So I'm assuming that, you know, that's good. That means that there'll be different weapons and different stats. So anyway, we're going to put that into slot 1. And I'm going to try and... I'm going to take a few shots here. Now this station's actually invulnerable, so I don't think it can be defeated. But as you can see, we're doing five damage. I'm not getting any sound for some reason, but you know. So I'll set up a little targeting range here. I should probably do it on a, someone that isn't invulnerable. <laughs> so yeah, you can run around, you can shoot stuff. Oh god, what do I do? You can shoot stuff, yeah go for that. And of course we're in zero gravity, so you've got all this going on. I've got a few, I've got, I've had so many ideas for this. This is going to get, this is going to be big. This is going to be big. I've already started sketching out level designs. Um, I've got a couple of ideas based on some famous maps that people will have heard of. I'm going to make a station which is all about this. Um, It'll probably be invulnerable in a different faction so that you can just import the sector to your, uh, you know, you, the idea is I'm going to build a station where we can have some shooting based games like that. Only the difference will be that um, it will belong to a faction which anyone will be able to join temporarily so that they can operate the doors and get in and stuff like that. And then once you're inside it's a faction HQ so it's invulnerable. But obviously, if you're running around inside it, you're not, and nor are the players in it. So, that's the idea. Um, I was hoping to be able to show you how much damage this gun actually does, but I forgot. <laughs> this station's in run for vulnerable. Um, so, yeah, just so that you know, you've got to know about it, because that's probably, like, one of the biggest bits of news we've had in a while. I mean, there was a, a new weapon as well that was released. There's a new weapon released that produces an EMP sort of pulse, and um, this pulse disables the player's ability to control the ship with WSAD or by moving the mouse for around two to five seconds, we found. I think the most we got was four, but um, no one's really perfected the design for the weapon yet. So I'm just going to shop our ship and then scroll down. There it is, Pulse Computer and Pulsator. Yeah. Oh yeah, another thing that's been added in as well. You see this? Natural, special, natural. We've got all this. This is like some kind of atomic crafting system. I was looking at it last night. And as you can see, you've got these things called cubatons or cube atoms. And uh, you can select a, a recipe up from the top, like for example, I'll choose. Grey hull, okay? So to make grey hull, you need that shape and that shape. And all I've got is plus signs. I haven't got anything with the other shape. They're all outside of the circle. I've only ever made that once, and that was by purifying loads of stuff, and I don't really... I haven't figured this out or refined. 
click on refine you can choose to you can click OK and then look it'll make something down here for me so if I just do that a couple more times and then unselect them we go back to fabricate we've got grey hull we need a plus and this I click on this and then I click on plus and I click OK and I've made one grey hull but I have no idea how much I just used to make it uh, I probably just put a hundred of a hundred of two elements into making one grey hull <laughs> but uh, I haven't figured out how this works yet so it's going to take a bit of work but yeah it looks like a way to recycle um, to recycle your extra stuff so you, you can split okay so you can split stuff down right you can split disintegrate it down put it in select the right part. <laughs> See, this is the thing, it's all very confusing and they've all got strange names like Negantlikins and Ligbasklikins and Mednolictra. <laughs> so, um, and I've got a lot of stuff down here. I don't really understand how, it said you can only have 255 of each, but as you can see I've got more than, well, maybe it means 255 on this, on this Particular icon there, we can only be 255. Don't know. Like, it's quite arbitrary. If I hit the uh, R, R here, I get some grey hull, right? I get some grey hull. There's stuff in my hotbar. There's not stuff in my hotbar. Ah, I know. Put it in build mode. There we go. Yeah, I was in fight, flight mode, wasn't I? Right, so if I drop this grey hull in here. It says you can only have 255 of a cube atom type. So I'll say 255 because I really don't understand. And it seems to have done something to this one and this one. Uh, why can't I select those two at the same time? Oh, it's on split. Right. So if I go to refine, just click on those two which I just put in and it will make that. See? Straight lines, zigzag lines make zigzag lines. Straight, straight makes double straight. 3 and 2 makes 2, and a plus and a plus makes a minus. That's the only thing I can think that this pattern is visual, and it does make sense, but there's priorities. I haven't figured it out, like I say. It's all very new to me. Uh, so I click OK, and look at that. We've just purified or refined Negant Soldra and Negant Solcon into Negant Lictra. <laughs> I just don't understand what I'm doing. Okay, so if I click on that one and that one, it'll make. It will also make Negant Litra. What? <laughs> Where's the Negant Litra? I don't know. See, this is cool, but I'm going to need to go back to the drawing board with this one. <laughs> um, the final thing was the pulse. Um, I did originally do a video on the pulse. Um, but uh, I didn't realise that the hard drive was full at the time. Oh no! Fell off my surfboard. So yeah, that was just a short one today. And the biggest thing was just to tell everyone that, um, that this laser pistol is here. So yeah, I'm sure that considering the popularity of Thunderdome and uh, others, there will be many, many, many more features like that. So I'd love to, if this is good, um, perhaps get in touch with them or something on their server. But anyway, like I say, that is uh, pretty much all the update. I haven't showed you the pulse weapon because it's getting balanced and rebalanced and changed. It was really weak. It wouldn't actually push ships at all last time we used it. Um, and like I say, uh, all it seemed to do was freeze WSAD and the mouse. Um, I was hoping there'd be a bigger push. Um, obviously, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, just here, we've got new graphics on the thrusters. They will actually glow and cre create a sort of little apex, apex of, uh, of thrust when you're going along. I'll see if I can show you. Let's see. There we go, look. Look at that. We've got a little thruster graphic off the thrusters now. So now it makes sense to actually uh, have them exposed on the ship rather than hiding everything away. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to be doing lots more filming and 
losing my surfboard by the looks of it. That was weird. I think when you hit the edge of a sector, um, your position is lost from the, from the ship if you're not in it. But I think they're aware of that because I could have sworn I've read about it. So Anyway, thanks for watching and um, please keep coming back and viewing it. I'm, I'm sort of really happy with the number of subscribers we've ended up getting. We've only been going for about a month and we're near 100 subscribers already. Yeah, and we're uh, 7,500 views, which is not bad. 88 subscribers, 7,500 views. It's not bad considering we're only a month old. Um, like I say, it keeps me going, keeps me doing more videos. Um, and um, yeah, like I say, I'm getting lots of ideas from people that are getting in touch with me and I'm um, having a great time meeting people who have commented on or got in touch, um, you know, just to sort of show me their ships or just be in the videos. It's cool. So thanks again for coming along and um, I'll bring you some more content most likely tomorrow. So. Thanks again. See you soon.